Okay, I get asked a lot about um, how to connect Flash Hack with your um, LT1 Camaro. Wow, I just noticed I had 226,000 miles on the dot. That's a, that's a milestone. Anyway, um, okay, so download Flash Hack. I'm, I'm going to leave the uh, the link in the description. I'm going to leave the link in the description for the drivers, for the cable. I'm going to leave a, a link in the description for EE hack and flash hack. All you got to do is click them and then it should bring you there. It shouldn't prompt you to download any kind of spamware or anything like that. Um, if it does say that, hey, this can infect your computer, blah, 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 just click more information and click run anyway, because I don't know what they use to make these programs, but that's what they have to use. So anyway, you download a flash hack. What do I do? So I got my cable plugged in and plugged in down here and all that stuff. I'm going to find out where I downloaded that. So I just put mine in the documents. You can put it anywhere you want. You can put it on the desktop. Do not extract anything on the flash hack program. Don't move anything uh, out of this folder. It'll look like this. Do not move anything out of here because it won't work. So what you want to do is click on the application file. So which is flash hack. Let's double click it. Let's open it up. It's opened up. Okay, so on your first run, it's probably not going to look like this. Um, it is going to look like this. Okay. So if it looks like this and not the other page, um, or if it looks like the other page, but it's not quite right, click on tools at the top right hand corner right here and then click select tool right here. And it's going to bring you back to this page. Click on EE flash. This one right here. Double click it. It's going to bring you to this right here. Key on, engine off, let the fuel pump prime and all that stuff, and then you can click recalibration, okay? So that's one easy way to, to do that. And then um, if you want to say I send you an email with an updated um, calibration, you're going to click load bin file right here. I'm just gonna pick a random one. This is not mine. It's gonna load it right here. You're gonna turn your key on, engine off. You're gonna click right calibration. And then it'll prompt, it'll start just flashing. You'll just see it. Give it about three to four minutes, it'll be done. Now to test out your cable, so say you don't wanna do that right there. On your EE hack program, go ahead and open it up. And this is how I test them right here. Make sure it's all set up here. We're gonna turn the key on. We're gonna have, you can have the engine on or off on this one, it doesn't really matter, but uh, we are gonna click on settings right here. And then it should have a COM port right here selected. And if not, click refresh right here. And it should, mine's COM8 for some reason. Some of them are COM1, 3, the number is irrelevant. As long as there's a COM port selected, it's fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and click connect right here. Connecting, connected, and it is acquiring data, so it is connected right now. So I can actually test this and see. Got a problem right here. I gotta check that out before I do anything. I think I have it unplugged on accident, but I'm just hitting my gas pedal and seeing if the TPS works. So I know it's working. I don't know the cable works. So I can go ahead and safely say that. Um, just gonna discard that. Uh, I can go ahead and safely say that flash hack is going to work. So again, mine's a shortcut, but anyway, that's how you do flash hack right there. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask. Thanks.